Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how I do a full groom on my rescue Sheltie Boomer. Okay, let's get started guys. Today I'm going to be using a dematting comb, a metal comb, and also a Furminator rake. I'm also gonna be using up the last of a dematting spray that I'm trying to get rid of. So right now I am just line brushing his bum, trying to get out the bulk of his undercoat and any tangles that are in there, going back and forth with both the rake and the dematting comb. All the tools that I use today will be linked down below if you are interested in finding them for yourself. I find the bath and also drying goes much smoother and quicker if I just get out the bulk of the undercoat in these kind of dogs. Boomer mainly just gets kind of thick in his bum, tail area, and also around his mane. So that's mainly where I'm going to be brushing before I put him in the bath. Now we are brushing out Boomer's tail here, putting on some of the dematting spray and then using my dematting comb. I hold the base of the tail so that where I am brushing out, it's not actually pulling on his skin. So I'm protecting his tail with where I'm holding it. Once again, I love to have a nicely brushed out tail. I find the conditioner works way better that way. Why waste all the product and time drying a matted tail? Right here you can see that I have found a little mat behind his ears. Behind the ears in these Shelties or Palms, Border Collies, etc. is the first place to get mats and I just decided to use the thinning shears to get it out instead of pulling on his fur. Just a small piece anyways. So just quickly brushing through his mane here before I get him in the tub for the bath. Moving on to the bath for Boom here. Right now I am just shaking up my concentrated shampoo that is mixed with water. Um, you may notice in my videos I haven't been mentioning the shampoo that I use. And this is because I'm actually trying to use up the brand that I have and switch to a new shampoo. I've used this brand for many years, but they have actually changed some ingredients that I'm not happy with and also don't disclose their ingredients. So instead of wasting all the shampoo that I bought when I first started my business, I'm trying to just use it up and switch to a new brand. So once I do that, I will let you know what I switch to and what I think. Just quickly cleaning Boomer's ears here with some organic cotton pads and also some ear cleaner. His ears don't get too dirty, but still like to clean them. What a good boy for the bath. I will mention that I did a double shampoo on him. I used an oatmeal shampoo and then also a conditioner. And now I am rinsing him thoroughly, making sure all the soap is out so it doesn't cause any irritation on his skin. Now he's got on a happy hoodie to protect his ears from the dryer. And he also really doesn't like the dryer, as you can notice in this video. Grooming in general isn't his favorite, but he's tolerant of it, which I appreciate. The dryer that I am using is a two-speed Canine 2 dryer. I have been using this brand of dryer for years. It has never failed me, so I just stick with it and really enjoy it. Now that Boom is all dried, we're gonna do nails. The clippers that I'm using are literally some random brand that my grandparents gave me. I wish it had a brand name so I could repurchase these clippers because they're amazing. The strength is awesome. So wish I could tell you guys about these, but unfortunately I can't. And even though he is owned by a groomer, he's still a butt for his nails. So don't feel bad if your dogs fight you for their nails. <laughs> now I am just shaving his paw pads with a 30. As you can see, I also use a clipper vac and yes, I absolutely love it. Helps with the cleanup and prevents your blades from heating up. There's just so many pluses to it. Here. 
here I am just shaving down the back of his legs with a five I like to keep that nice and short there and now I am moving on to a snap-on comb these are just the blue and a snap-ons and I'm using that over either a 30 or 40 blade so I just use this on his bum to help take off some of the bulk so I do less scissoring but I just skim over his bum with this I like to make his bum nice and round. Now that his bum is nice and tangle free, I am using my black pearl shears. Those look like my curves. And honestly, you guys, I got these shears when I was in grooming school seven years ago, and I'm still using the same pair of straights, curves, and my thinners. They're getting to the point where I might not be able to sharpen them anymore. But when that day comes, I will be repurchasing. These shears are so light and when they're sharp, they cut amazing. So the Black Pearls by, I think it's Gweb, Geb, however you say it, I'll link them down below. Right now I am kind of unflattering angle for Boomy, but I was thinning shear, I was using my thinning shears around his bum, just so, <laughs> you know, the poop can come out nice. Also just shaping around his legs here and in between his legs, also with my curves. The style that I like for grooming is I go over pretty much everything with my thinning shears after I use my shears. I like everything to look nice and natural, no lines in my work. Moving on to trimming his legs and his paws right now. If you are a baby groomer, a newbie, or if you don't trust the dog, don't pick up their foot while you're cutting their feet because if they move their feet you could cut them but i trust boomer and i know how he's gonna react and all of that jazz so i do pick up his foot when i groom it sometimes so when i groom these kind of feet first i go all the way around the foot the perimeter then i use my fingers in between their toes to pull up all the fur I use my slicker brush to brush up that fur and then I use my scissors to take off all that fur in between the toes and then once again I usually go over it with thinning shears just to make everything look natural. I have a full video on how to trim these kind of feet like Sheltie feet, golden feet, etc. To trim bellies, I lift up this front leg here so you can get all the way across the stomach to try to get it as even as possible. And then I also lift them up so I can do a little bit of combing and trimming in between those back two legs, making sure it's just as even as I can get it. When you are trimming legs, I encourage you to point your shears downward when you're trimming just like this. This is so that if they move on you, you have less likely of a chance of cutting them. If you have your shears facing up towards their body when you're trimming, if they move, they could just move right into your blade and you could cut them. So that is something to note if you're just starting out is to position your blade downward if you're cutting their bum, their legs, etc. I am now going to trim Boomer's front foot in the exact same fashion as the back one. Trim the perimeter, lift up all the fur between the toes, trim that, thinning shear, done. The way that I groom in the van is I groom one whole side of the dog, then they get flipped over, I do the other side of the dog, then I do tail, and then I do head. So you guys missed out on seeing me groom the other side of him, but it's gonna be exactly the same as the side you just saw. Right now I'm brushing through his tail. I do this little spinning thing with their tail. It helps it uh, come out even on the end. And then if you saw my Sophie video, the little Shih Tzu video, I do the exact same thing with Boomer's tail as I do with hers and most dogs, honestly, is I shake out their tail to get it to lay how it naturally would if he's walking around, etc. And I just trim it. 
I shake, I brush it out, I trim it, I do it again, I do it from all angles, I hold it up right to kind of his back if he's going to be holding his tail up like that, I hold it out a little bit more, just trying to get an even trim on his tail. I like to keep his tail fairly long, so we're just doing a little bit of a trim today. Now I'm just trimming his mane or his chest with my thinning shears. I do this both with the dog standing up, looking at me, I'll trim, but then I'll also get them to sit down as well. And then you can look all the way down their stomach and see if you're trimming on either side of the dog and also between their legs is even. That's an awesome tip that uh, I use. I use my metal comb to brush everything out. I get them to sit and make sure it's all even. So that way when the dog is sitting, there isn't any like weird random pieces that maybe you missed when they were standing up. Just combing out behind his ears and around his head here. I don't do a ton of trimming on him around his head. I mainly just do his chest and his stomach. But right now I am using my blowing technique on the ears to get all those stray hairs where his head meets his ears to stand up. And then I use my thinning shears once again to make it look very natural. Look at his face here. <laughs> to make it look very natural and blend his head into his ear. That's mainly all the trimming I do around his ears and head is just blending it in and making it look just a lot neater. The final thing that I'm doing on Boomer is brushing the hair out from behind his ears. I thinning shear that a little bit so it doesn't stick out so much on the sides, but very lightly. I don't like to take off a lot of fur on him. And then I just do touch-ups. I get him to stand up all angles, use my thinning shears and my normal shears all over just to get all the stray hairs that might be sticking out. And now you get to see Boomer after. He's pretty proud of himself with his little tie on, but he's also pretty ready to get out of this van. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and also being so patient. I haven't uploaded in a while, but I am back and I'm going to be uploading regularly again, giving you guys some updates with the pregnancy and everything going on. If you haven't already, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below as I'm getting back on my normal uploading schedule and I'd love to have you stick around and become part of my family on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!